My name is Paul and in today's episode I'm going to answer the question, are gym classes a waste of time? Now, we've got ones like Zumba, Spin, CrossFit, Body Pump, Body Combat, um, and really if you look them up, probably 50 other classes out there that are all kind of doing really similar things, a mix of cardio and some resistance on some of them, and really there's so many and there's so many coming out all the time, we've got to ask the question really, are they just a waste of time, are they just variations of the same thing, or are they good? and are they actually going to get you to reach your goals any faster? So, they do have some good points, so let me point them out first. Number one is that they provide good motivation. You know, if you're new to the gym and you're very shy about going, going in groups of, um, that people can provide encouragement, often people at the same level as you, that can be a great benefit to you. Usually, the second point here is information. Workout design is difficult without the proper knowledge. But if you're following a already predetermined plan, by a class, by a qualified instructor, then that removes some of the headache of trying to plan your own workouts. Third aspect is the social aspect. Um, this kind of falls in line with the motivation. And you might meet new workout buddies, so you might be going to the gym alone, you might come away with a few friends that you might meet at the class every week. Uh, it's often seen as the fun side to exercising. If you don't enjoy the conventional training methods of uh, you know, resistance training or cardio, then quite often it's seen as a fun thing to do in the gym. And more often than not, you're monitored by a professional leading the class. Now that's some, some good points there and some points worthy in many ways of going to the class, but let's take a look at some of the bad points just to kind of weigh things up in a, in a fair perspective. It's quite often I find the classes are too advanced um, for the level of people going, and there is no prerequisite to get into the class, it's just sign up and go. So you might have just come out of not exercising for how many years, never exercising at all, re come out of rehabilitation, come out of anything, and you can go straight into a class that may be far too, ad too advanced for you and your level. The other problem with that is that there may be technique issues because of that, that the instructor can't watch, they can't watch everyone at the same time. They might be in a room of 30 people doing body combat or doing body pump, lifting weights, might be doing a complicated exercise like deadlifts, lifting weight with it, never done it before, and the instructor can't really pay you any attention because they're trying to lead a class of 30 or more. So having two advanced exercises plus technique issues will lead to your inevitable injury, and it will be inevitable if you, if you continue on this path, whether it's your first session or whether it's 10 years down the line when you go to pick up your shoes from the floor and your back goes. You will lead to an inevitable injury if you ignore these, these points. Now, the third point here is that it's not really goal specific. You look at a class like spin and you're cycling for an hour. You know, 45 minutes I believe a lot of classes are around about an hour. And, if, and some people do back to back classes as well, I know. And if your plan isn't to actually be able to cycle for an hour on a stationary bike, if that's not your number one goal, why are you doing it? You know, there is, n there is very little benefit apart from that. You will get some cardiovascular increase and things like that, and of course there are a benefit to any kind of movement, any exercise you're doing, but it's not really specific for your goal, it's not going to be the fastest way to, for you to achieve what you're actually looking to achieve, unless your goal is, as I say, to be able to cycle on a stationary bike for an hour. Uh, now, there's some good and bad points there, um, it, it's up to you really uh, how you weigh them up, but I would say, in terms of who should attend a class, only someone who's got the strength, the fitness and the flexibility to actually operate at that level. And if you do have those things, quite often you're going to be at a higher intermediate or advanced level anyway, and it's going to benefit you to go past this level. Um, so that's why it falls between a very, very small bracket of people. Um, and I would say the second point as well is that you would only do this type of training if it falls directly in line with your goals. If you want to be able to cycle on a stationary bike for an hour, and you've got the level of strength, fitness and flexibility to do that, then this falls directly along with your goals and you should go for it. But if it doesn't, steer clear of it and do your own thing, work towards your own goals with your own training program and you'll get there far faster. So I hope that's given you a bit more information on whether gym classes are a waste of time. There are good benefits, but only for specific prerequisites. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a like. I'd love it if you could subscribe. But if not, I'll see you on the next episode.